If you don't want to use the kitchen display system, you can have a regular point of sale station print tickets out of a printer. And I'll show you how to do that right now. In the point of sale system, go to account, settings, hardware, printers, create printer station, name it. I'm going to name this bar orders. And then select a printer. Now, I don't have any printers connected to this, but you can connect an AirPrint printer, or you can do advanced printer setup for an Epson printer or a Star printer. Now, I'm just going to assume that you have a printer available and connected to the device. Because what I want to show you is use this printer for. You can use it for receipts. You can print automatic or manual. You can use it for in-person orders. Single item per ticket will display one item per ticket. Print kitchen names will show only the kitchen name on the ticket. Now the print kitchen names takes the kitchen name that's set up in each item and that's separate from the regular name. The regular name is shown online, in the point of sale, to the consumer on their receipts, but the kitchen name is only ever shown in the kitchen. So you can use that for a clearer name for the kitchen to see. Compact tickets removes the margin at the top of the ticket, so you don't want to turn that on if you have a ticket rack. Now the primary power from this is the categories to print. Right now I have it set to all categories, but if you had, say, a bar station where you only wanted to send mixed drinks and beer, then you would just select your categories accordingly. Online orders is much the same. Single item per ticket, print kitchen names, and then the difference is automatically print new orders. You can turn that off and manually print the orders from the point of sale, or you can leave it on to automatically print new orders. If you want to automatically print only in progress orders for, say, a packaging station, you can have that set up separately as well. And the categories is the same as in-person orders. Order ticket stubs prints a stub with some information about the order, so you could send that to the table for verification, or you could send it on package goods out to curbside or pickup or whatever you like. Void tickets will print all of the voided tickets with the information about them, so you can print that out for the managers to see, or you can print it to uh, see your records at the end of the day. And then once you have everything set up, you tap save, and it's done. Now mine is shown under disabled because I don't have a printer selected, but yours will show at the top.